Hi, this is Professor CC19, and today we are playing level 421 on a quest to the end of Candy Crush Saga, where we have 35 moves to collect 5 striped striped combos. But before we get started, I put out new videos almost every day. So if you like this video and you'd like to see more, don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on any new content. Now, this board has little square blocks of things that can somewhat help us and somewhat get in our way. We have lucky candies, which always correspond directly to our orders, which means the lucky candies here and here in licorice will be stripes. And it's helpful to get two right next to each other that are the same color, because if we can open them up at the same time, we have one of our combos, assuming they don't go off prematurely. And that's one of the major problems on this level. It's fairly easy to open up the lucky candies, but it's also fairly easy to clear out the cake bombs at the same time, which could clear the board completely before we get to use the specials in the way we need to. Remember, it doesn't count just to have stripes next to each other. We actually have to make the match before the cake bomb goes off. So my first move here is the only instance where I have two of the same color next to each other here with these orange. So I'm going to open them both up from the licorice. I'm going to try and drop another orange down. Now that worked out nicely. There was not another orange to come down and send them off. We get to make our first stripe-stripe combo. And as you can see, the cake bombs are getting cleared uh, we already have over half of this one gone, uh, exactly half of this one gone. And this is where things get a little more tricky. We don't have a nice even setup. So what I'm going to do is try and leave these bottom Lucky Candies intact in that licorice and then clear out these cake bombs. So clearing out one of these cake bombs will at least get rid of all the licorice, but it will give me the Lucky Candies so I can open them up. If we clear out the other one, it will open them all up. Hopefully they won't go off. Really, this board is pretty intricate. One of the more complex orders, the different combo orders. Um, let's see, should I clear out? I think I should clear out one of the cake bombs now if I can. Although I am close, now it's not gonna work. I can open up this licorice for the blue lucky but it's also going to clear the cake bomb. I'm going to do it. It's going to remove a layer of everything, and we'll see. Now I don't want to clear this cake bomb because I have other stripes positioned fairly well. I want to use them before this cake bomb goes off. I'm going to switch this purple over. I'm going to make a color bomb, but more importantly, I'm going to set up these two stripes next to each other. I'm going to push them, the red, into the blue, so it takes out the column on the left instead of the column with the color bomb. And it opens up these two on the bottom. This is working very nicely. Now here's the thing. Is there any possible way for us to use both of these? And the answer, I believe, is no. No matter what I do, they're going to send at least one of the others off. So I'm going to make it so that I send off three and salvage one. And I also want to salvage that, uh, salvage that color bomb. So I'm going to push the green into the purple. Takes out all except the red. The cake bomb is still there, but it's getting close to being cleared out. Uh, let's see. I can make a stripe with the green. One with the... I can go purple. I can go orange. I don't want to hit that cake bomb. So I think I'm going to go... Hmm. I can do orange there. Oh, there's there's another slice of that cake bomb. We're so close to having it get cleared. We don't really want it to yet. I'm gonna see, can we nurse this orange down? It's one away from the green. I think we can get it. Drop that green, clear that out. There's our fourth combo. Now we only need one more. I don't care about the cake bomb going off. We didn't have a good setup. I'm, have to, I'm having to sacrifice that color bomb. But at this point, we have a fully open board. That color bomb um, doesn't really matter in the scheme of things because now with an open board, it's easier to make stripes, and it should be easier to get them set up next to each other. So we have quite a few stripes on the board right now. 
I'm looking for a way to get them together, making as many as I can for backup. Uh, stripe wrapped is nice, but we don't need it. In fact, on this board, it could actually be too good, and that means sending everything off, and that's kind of what happened. In that sense, a color bomb is also not really the best thing. All right, 11 moves, one left. Going to see, we still have two stripes available. There's another one with the purple. I'm going to send off this one. It does not look like it's in a great position. Can make one with the red. Now, this one's promising. We're pretty close. Um, only one square between these two. And I think I can do this a little differently. If I drop the purple down, I can sink this orange down. I'm going to send off this orange stripe, but I'm going to make another. So as long as the... No! That shouldn't have happened. Oh, that was so sad. That was so sad. That shouldn't have happened. All right, well... At this point, it's not looking good. We have four moves, and even though we've worked our strategy very well, things have just, well, happened. So we're going to see, is there anything we can do? I'm considering just sending that wrapped candy off and just shaking up the board. In fact, I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to need something really spectacular at this point. We got a different setup. We got a stripe with the red. However, so much red nearby, I think everything's going to go off. Or will it? We can actually make another stripe with the red. And, oh wow, this is so close. We're going to be either painfully close or just getting this. I'm going to make a stripe with a blue and pray this stays. Oh, goodness, it did. All right. So that is how we beat level 421. We're going to get super sugar crush. That was stressful, honestly. That was insanely close. We got it done on our last move. So this is a board of finesse. Try and get those lucky candies together as much as you can without clearing out the cake bombs. If you want to control the board, control when you clear out the cake bombs. So you're not removing stripes, you're just opening them up. I think controlling this board, or at least controlling when the cake bombs go off as much as you can, is the key to winning on this level. Also, don't wait too long. I might have made the mistake of waiting so long uh, that I only had about 15 moves left with a fully open board. An open board, getting that sooner could mean that you have uh, more space to just create those stripes and set them up manually. You don't have to rely on the lucky candies completely. You can do some manually once you get to the latter stage of this level. All things working together for good. <sighs> Deep breath there. Sigh of relief that was. Very close. If you found this video helpful to you and or entertaining, because this one was kind of exciting, please subscribe. If you're stuck on any particular level of the game, please leave a comment below. I will try and help you. And as always, thanks so much for watching.